Let's have some music. All right. A little bit of music. Okay, sorry, I gotta Let's stop have some music. this. I gotta stop that. That's not what I want. Okay. That's good moody music. Uh, today I'm gonna do... This is probably gonna be a pretty uh, ad hoc random episode. <laughs> um... I think I'm probably I think I'm probably gonna do uh, another open episode where people can just ask questions throughout the whole thing. Um, I had been meaning to do kind of a, an IRC day, uh, but I just haven't had a chance to advertise it, so um, I don't think anyone would know about it. So we'll we'll still we'll still work on doing that. Um, that in the future I'll try to get some better advertising and all that. But um, but for now I think we'll just do a quick little open. Uh, open open chat where people can just come in and ask whatever questions um, and beyond that another thing I want to do is um, I want to do some um, uh, test of some some of the Commonwealth fleet missions uh, I've got a couple of bugs on just their difficulty level and I th you know I haven't I haven't revisited them in quite a while from a from a game design perspective so I think it, it might be fun this episode to to go through those um, just to just to kind of see what what needs to be done in terms of uh, getting to be, um, you know, less deadly and/or more interesting? Um, let's see what else. And then, of course, um, I'll leave it up to people to uh, to comment as uh, as we go. John B. Watson says, "I figured out how to save and load in Frontier. It involves a virtual machine running." <laughs> yeah, well, that uh, <laughs> that does sound rather rather difficult um, but you know now that you remind me I'm gonna look through my files um, remember last episode or when I showed up frontier remember I said there, there existed some a, a later version and I eventually lost all the source code um, let me see if I can dig that up I know I lost the source code but I thought I might have had some running version and I, I just I don't remember let me let me just look through my my backups, my backup systems. Um, I have a pretty automatic backup system. I don't know if you guys, well, I'm sure you do not care, but um, John B. Watson says Frontier is a lot harder than Transcendence. Uh, it, it's certainly, it's certainly far less balanced. Um, so it's, it's, it's really definitely not that, that great. Um, what scares me is that George's V05 statement appears to think that he believes it was too easy. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I honestly don't think that I knew what I was talking about. Um, I think that's I think it's quite fair to say that I did not know what I was talking about in terms of difficulty or anything else uh, back then. Okay, so it's not here. Let me see if it's it would be in archives this is okay this is kind of what I was thinking uh, but I don't think I have an actual executable uh, bummer Bummer. This is this is the uh, the actual source code, but I don't think I have anything beyond that. Um, but what I will do I'm just looking to see. I swear I had some stuff. Rate, I, I started experimenting with some ray trace stuff around this time. Yeah, yeah, this is what I'm looking for. Oh, that's terrible. But this is when I started experimenting with some. There's a frontier icon. Yeah, so this is this. I started experimenting with kind of a little bit more, um, more graphical look. And if you can imagine, this is obviously where 
transcendence started going, so I, I, I didn't have to go very far before I... before I didn't have to... before I stopped. Yeah, this is all coming back to me. A lot of this stuff, I, like I said, I, I'm pretty sure this is all lost. Here's, here's a lot of the dialogue panel. Yeah, no, useless. have a version number here but this is clearly this this clearly is a later version than what you guys are seeing um, than what I have running uh, that's crazy I, I, I don't even, I think that's horrible personally but but look at look at the <laughs> yeah that's I don't I don't think that would have gone too far Mars texture that yeah, terrible deep deep this is when I literally was just learning how to do models, so most of these models are really embarrassingly horrible. Um, this, you might remember from Transcendence, I think I lifted this out of this version and used it in Transcendence. Oh, here are the sprites! Now we're talking. A lot of these are sprites that are, that do not exist in the game. Um, some of these are rendered. Like these look like they've been rendered. These don't look hand drawn. Even this, I think, is rendered. Um, these look at these. These look like. Um, um, what am I thinking? Uh, uh, Centauri. These are kind of crazy cylinder things. I I, I need to recreate those. Those are kind of cool. Yes, this is this is kind of the old style and the new rendered style. Huh. Huh. So who knew? Okay, what else we got? Here's some other ones. Oh, look at this. That that's my that's my planet killer ripoff. These are like this, 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 and these are the EI 100 kind of classes. And there's a Star Destroyer. This one's a pretty cool looking ship. I should do a version of that for Transcendence. This is, you know, I mean, this looks like just like the Scarab class. More. These icons are tiny, but. You can see kind of the little shuttle type thing. These weird things. This one looks like the like the Manticore. I'm um, not the Manticore, like a Molotov. And this one looks like a this one looks like a Centaurian. Ah, that's ah these. I guess I really have not gotten any better. And then these are. These look like airy ships. This is pretty crazy, I have to admit. Let's see what people are saying. Okay, um, so sadly, I sadly I, I still don't think I have an actual executable. So it's not just that I lost the source code, I think I lost the I think I lost the executable as well, which is which is kind of sad. Yeah, that's too bad. And this source code is is does not compile. It's it's not complete. I forgot exactly what the problem is, but it's definitely not complete. Um, how sad. Oh, there's something, but I think that's... So I'm in a zip file, I'm in a zip file.
those are old. This is 1996. Your administrator requires a scan of this item. Ah! Oh, I'm missing a DLL. That's the problem. That's the problem. This is, this is, I think, that version of the executable, but unfortunately, I'm missing a DLL, which I don't think I ever was able to recover. Oh, how sad. How sad, and I, and I don't have the source code to that, whatever that DLL was. It's long, long since gone. But, but that, um, this ver this lost version has some of those, um, files that I showed you, some of those uh, images that I showed you. Um, so, who only knows what that could have, what that would have become. Um, well, I, actually I know what it would have become, it would have eventually turned into something like Transcendence, but, but I, I don't, I'm actually really, really glad with the path I took with Transcendence. Um, I think it would have been, I think, I think this would not have ended up um, quite as good, I think. I, I certainly didn't know very much back then, so I think it would have been even more primitive. But, oh man, that's pretty horrible. Um, sorry, let me get back to my, let me get back to my chats. That's not it. Um, so someone's asking, what is the title, what is this Twitch about today? And it really is just a um, kind of open, Sorry, I'm gonna go back to my channel. I forgot. I, f I lost. Billy is just a. Um, there we go. Um, sorry, I just lost uh, my chat channel. I, otherwise, I can't see who's chatting. All right. Anyway. Um, so yeah. So this this uh, Twitch session is really gonna be pretty random. I'm just. I'm really just taking questions. I, as I said at the in the intro, I was hoping to kind of do an open IRC day today, but I didn't advertise it enough. I didn't, you know, get my act together. So. Um, I think I'm just gonna essentially do a lot of the uh, just just take questions as 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 people ask them, and then the second thing I wanted to do this episode um, is uh, play some of the Commonwealth Fleet missions because they are uh, just increasingly very uh, outdated, and I just want to really figure out if there's a if if I can kind of update their balance because as as we've seen, they're some are way too hard, some are way too easy, so I want to see what, what I can do. It. Question: If you remember, did Frontier have an end? I, I, I'm certain that it did not. Um, it, it, it certainly. Um, you know, I mean, even Transcendence when it first came out didn't have an end other than, you know. Um, I'm, in fact, I think I'm not even sure if Point O Seven had Heretic. It, it, it might not even have had Heretic. I don't even remember if Transcendence Point O Seven had that. Um, but I, but I'm, I'm very sure that Transcend, that that Frontier didn't have an end. The whole thing about Dominant Oracus and kind of that storyline was after Frontier. Frontier, I don't believe I ever came up with a storyline. Um, not that I remember. I think, it, I think it, it just, you know, I would come up with enemies and maybe half-heartedly think about backstories. But I don't think there was ever any kind of overall overarching storyline. And on top of that, uh, Frontier, if I remember correctly, had very, very few mission types, and certainly no mission arcs where you could kind of, kind of see anything. So, um, nothing like that. Uh, John B. Watson says, "I saw the arena, but didn't get around to completing it. Got as far as a CLA shipyard with an antimatter turret. Ooh, that's cool. Well, that's pretty cool. If I keep going, will it keep getting harder? I'm still seeing new enemies and system types. Um, it certainly was very unbalanced. I mean." Um, but I but I do believe you will see. It, I do believe it does keep getting harder, and I do believe you do keep getting more enemies uh, or, or or more equipment to, to help you. So, you know, it, it, there, it was I, w I attempted to balance it, but I don't think I managed to make it balanced in the end. Okay, um, let's keep going. Um, oh, so before I before I, I before I get started with some of the Commonwealth missions, I'll tell you a little bit about what I've been up to. I, I, I'm mostly in bug fix mode right now for beta 1, for 1.8 beta 1. Uh, I've done a bunch of minor changes, a bunch of API changes that people have requested. Uh, you can see the list on Ministry, just you know, look at the 1.8 beta 1 list and that's what I'm working 
to fix. I, I don't know if I'll get to every single one of those, but um, I, I, I do want to get to to, to many most of those. And then I'm going to release a 1.8 beta 1, probably probably this weekend, maybe tomorrow if I can finish it, but more likely this weekend or Monday. Um, and then I'm going to move on. I'm going to end up spending a lot of time on part two, um, you know, while we kind of play with it. Um, I might, you know, because since PM is online, I I might, and PM did a lot of work on rebalancing the weapons. Um, I think now that PM has a little bit of experience on on rebalancing, I might take another stab at changing the 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 balance for particularly tracking weapons and um, area weapons. Area weapons I've never been happy with um, in terms of balance. Um, tracking weapons I think should be simpler. But I might take a stab at that in 1.8 uh, beta 1 and then let people you know, see what it feels like so that um, you know we can take any, any feedback into account. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see if I can do that. Um, at least tracking weapons, I think, where we have a little bit more data. I'm just going to write this down to remind myself. Okay. Okay. Um, the other thing I've been doing this last week, I did just a very, very quickly early this morning, was uh, some rebalancing to the armor repair items. There's a couple bugs about having them be level limited, and I think that that's pretty smart. Uh, the other thing um, I did is just if you know look at the rough balance of of armor items they they were not very competitive with just going to a station and repairing your armor um, you know you you'd end up having to carry around a lot of tonnage for you know a fairly poor price per hit point ratio so I, I just rescaled them a little bit so that at least they are now they're now comparable to station prices, meaning if you have an item repair uh, item, you can, you'll can you pay a little bit more, but not a ton more, a little bit more price per hit point to repair your armor with a device. Well, I'm sorry, with, a, with an armor repair item um, than just, you know, getting it at the station. So that makes them a little bit more competitive, but not, but, but, but it certainly won't be cheaper. So it won't, there is no advantage to hoarding them. Um, so, um, so hopefully that'll make them a little bit more, more balanced. Okay, uh, here's a question. Sort of a random question, but what ended up happening with the official ranks extension? Indefinite hiatus? Yeah, that's a great question because that's one of my. I'm, I really would love to do something on that extension. Um, it it is uh, the the thing about that extension is um, I think we never quite. We never quite could figure out, um, you know, how to balance all the work. That there's a lot of work in that extension, and um, I don't, I don't know that we ever kind of doled out the work well enough so that it could get done. Eventually, various people started losing interest, and you know, it kind of did just go into indefinite hiatus. Um, f for the next official expansion, and again, I, this is still very rough because I'm really just working on part two. Um, for the next official ex expansion of after part two, obviously, um, I'm thinking of something involving the Sung, Sung slavers. That's consistently been something that people have asked for in the last poll I took. Um, so I think we could do something like that. Um, I'm, I'm also thinking as part of that, basically, I can imagine something like, um, I'm imagining something like a, um, um, a Commonwealth kind of an expansion you know how there's there's like a corporate command expansion imagine a parallel expansion for commonwealth stuff where the main enemy is the song um that's kind of roughly where i'm heading right now but i don't know if that'll 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 actually work um oh that's too bad so, someone says ah, too bad i was really looking for to more rank stuff yeah i i i am too and so i'm not too um i, I don't think that's ever gonna totally go away um so I, I feel your pain. Um, okay, what else? Um, I was thinking of doing something on the ranks, but I got multiple projects right now, so I won't be able to do any real modding for at least a few months. 
yeah, it's it's you know it's hard. Everyone's got a everyone's got a real life, so it's um it's a little bit hard. Um, Fat Rat Knight says I uninstall shields for free repairs with Domina powers. Mind, I haven't played any of the 1.8 alphas though. Yeah, I think that's probably still if I think that still works. That's still effective. Um, but I, 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 and I wonder if that's, I wonder if people would consider that an exploit. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. I mean, you still have to find the Domina station, I, if I remember correctly. So I don't know, that may or may not be. PM says, I need to expand Drake Tech and maintain playership drones. Yeah, um, I, I completely, I, I, you're definitely, you're definitely super busy. Um. Drake Tech, I think, is I'm looking forward to. It's always it's always a cool uh, cool expansion. That was a Minotaur beating up beating a pirate frigate. That's kind of cool. Not surprising. I mean, the Minotaur is a pretty high level. Okay. Um, I guess let's get let's get started. As I said, I wanted to test out some Commonwealth fleet missions. Um, first, I want to see what happens with the Scorpion. I guess the Scorpion is not no threat. To the Minotaur. It's not even going through the shields. Yeah, there it goes. Um, disabling shields really should have Domino repair armor instead of restore shields. Um, I think that's. I think that. Maybe that's right. Maybe that's right. I don't know if that ends up making Domino powers too powerful, though. But I don't know. John B. Watson says, I think he's referring to the restore power, not sister's repair. So yeah, I buy that. I buy that. I, I didn't get that at first, but yeah, now I, now I get it. Um, and yeah, that makes sense. All right. Let me... Um, oh, that's a Naga, not a Scorpion. Yeah, God. I, I do get confused, but you're right. It doesn't have the wings on the... on the. It doesn't have the wings on the on the side. Domino repairs armor if there's no shield, which which I think is reasonable. Um, if armor takes damage, I run. Yeah, and that I think that makes sense. I I I, I kind of think the game is roughly designed for that. Um, it's um, certainly in the past. I think shields were a little bit more powerful, and armor was a little bit weaker. And I think it, the game was much harder um, because once shields went down, armor just came down so quickly that you just died instantly. Now I think um, you know armor. The armor really gives you a chance to survive to run away, even if you're in the middle of a of kind of a you know furball. Okay, what about partial repairs? Since it's also on a timer, less less exploitative. Um, yeah, I think that's I think that's reasonable. Um, there's not there's there's a ton of ways to repair armor, so you know we'll, we'd have to I'd have to figure out what the trade-offs are in terms of you know um, what is this going to do to the game if that becomes a, a more a common way of repairing armor using Domino power. So uh, it's it's interesting. I, I I'll, I'll I'll have to think about it. Um, I, I'll tell you there's certainly many times that I've that I've used the restore power hoping that it would repair my armor. And, and wondering why it didn't repair my armor, so I totally get where you're, where you guys are going. Um, I think Domino powers would be more balanced if they restocked when the player moved forward instead of over time. Well, uh, um, more balanced, yeah, more balanced. That's, I mean, that's a super amazing idea. It's, it's, um, it's certainly more consistent with the storyline. So. Um, I do really like that. I'm gonna I'm gonna consider that. I mean, at minimum, this might be too um, obscure, but maybe I can. Maybe the regeneration rate can somehow vary on you know, like the rate at which you're moving forward. I, I don't think we need to. Well, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure something. We'll figure something out. Um, but 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 I really like that idea. I'm, I'm gonna just add that as a note and. Maybe we can add it. I can add it as a ticket, or you can, John. You can, John B. Watson. You can add it as a ticket. Um, I think it's an interesting idea. Um, 
Dominance is overpowered once a player gets ingenuity and desperate escape. Yeah, uh, that's. I think that's 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 fair. And and by the way, that's one of the reasons why I'm hesitant. I don't know exactly how to move those domina powers forward into part two. I haven't done it yet. Um, but you're absolutely right. Once a player has desperate escape, you know the game gets a whole lot easier. So I don't I don't know exactly how I'm gonna deal with that. Um, certainly at some point in the game. I th in part two, I think you will end up losing Domina powers, um, but but I don't know if that'll happen soon enough for for um, for for the balance to work out. Okay, um, what's the point of getting Domina powers if you use them though? No, I I think I think it does. It, I think you do use them. I just think the the issue is the issue is um, encouraging it. Dominant powers should encourage a certain type of play, and if you don't want to play that way, um, it, the trade-off is you 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 know you you get some other benefits. So I kind of do get that that grinding um, gets you some benefits. Well, there should be a trade-off to lose some of the benefits that you get from grinding because after all, grinding is never fun. So it's not something we necessarily want to encourage. Um, I, I, I'm certainly not saying that I'm going to nerf Domina powers to the point where they just don't work, but um, but I think it'd be interesting to experiment with that idea. I, I think it's a I think it's an interesting idea. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, ingenuity is the big grinder. Yes. Yeah. And, and that that I separate slightly. Um, ingenuity. You know, ingenuity itself as a power could potentially be, be, um, you know, hobbled in one of, I didn't want to say nerf, hobbled in one of many different ways. Um, I, you know, there, there's ways that we could, we could make ingenuity, for instance, um, have limits so that you, you just can't, you eventually can't, you know, max out your things too far. Um, yeah, sustain it. Is okay, strengthen too. Yeah, I think those those are reasonable. Um, I don't. I think I don't think um, shatter might be the other one. It's not grindy because it's um, you know it's not a permanent benefit. All you can do is kill things. Um, but but shatter also might end up being a little too powerful. Um, maybe in part two. I don't know. Again, that might be easily fixed by just having. Um, more enemies be immune to shatter, um, but I still haven't worked out a good a good way for that to happen. Um, oh, like shards, jettisons. Use five times for guaranteed results, then no more. Yeah, I think that's I think that's reasonable. Um, I think that's reasonable. Shatter is a double-edged sword. I assume you say that because you lose any any drops, and which I think is is probably true. It it is. You are right that you can't grind with shatter because you're gonna you're gonna lose the you're gonna lose whatever you're trying to get drops for. Um, are there any notifications when a new dominant power is unlocked? No, but that's a really good question. Um, that's a really good question. Um, there should be. It's hard sometimes to tell, um, but there should be. Generally, the power will get unlocked at a temple, you know, at a at a at a Domina Sisters of Domina sh temp shrine temple, um, if I remember correctly, when you when you contemplate. And so it's it wouldn't it would be quite reasonable, I think, for contemplation to tell you if you gain new powers, um, but 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 I don't think it does that right now. Um, and if you're talking about when you regain powers after the after the cooldown, then that's also a no. You don't get a notification. But again, that might be important. So that might also be interesting. Maybe that even requires a um, a ROM or something. No, I'm not. Though it wouldn't really be a ROM. It'd be something something more mystical. Okay. Um, most get powers from donating slaves. Yeah, that's that's how I end up getting powers, um, which I think is is I, I I think that's not bad 
um, it's a decent trade-off. I would, I think, I may want to um, increase the rewards for giving slaves to the Commonwealth. Um, you know, right now you you get like some a little bit of trinkets, um, but it might be interesting to get something more substantial if you if you save enough slaves. Like for instance, one thing I would love to do is if you rescue enough slaves for the Commonwealth, you open up some mission path that gives you you know something. Um, in fact, this that's something that I might do in the in a new expansion. Like you can open up some anti sung mission if you do that. That might be interesting. Um, just to make it again another trade off for the player between getting dominant powers or getting something else that they might value. Uh, and certainly, you know, we've talked a lot this about this a lot. Transcendence is more than just about the pilgrim. Um, I fully expect to have adventures. You know, more like Eternity Port, where the main character, the player, isn't isn't a pilgrim, and so it would be cool to have other uses for slaves and, and all the other things. Um, and of course, we're going to need some replacements for the things that people use Domina powers for. So that's that's we'll, we'll have to all come up with that. Aside from Domina, the best use of slaves is to feed the turret and fabricator for easy disposition. Raises a fabricator. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, I'd forgotten that, but that's definitely intentional. I mean, you want to, you want to make slaves be, you know, um, be be valuable. I don't think there are any. Are there any penalties for going through the Terratan? There might not be. Which again, I don't know if it's good or bad, but um, I, I I hope what what I will do, I will at least add it as a as a, an, a, a conduct slash achievement. Um, feeding slaves to the fabricator. I don't know if it is already, but it should it should show up on your high score, you know, as 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 a conduct, just so that so that people can um, choose to play the other way if they want to. I don't know if it is or not. Um, if you remember in Star Control, wasn't there some mechanic with slaves? I don't remember the exact mechanic. I know you could. I know you could. I think you could sell your slaves. Sell sell slaves. I, I forgot exactly what the mechanic was. I know one of the ships. You know, I think you could burn a one of the crew to gain some power. Um, but I thought there was also some some way that you could find slaves and free them or or sell them in some way, and I, I don't remember what the what 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 it was. Um, even selling slaves at black market is no penalty, provided you sell one coffin per transaction. Yeah, that's that's probably. I think. I, I think that might be a, a an exploit, an exploit that I might want to fix at some point. Um, but I, but I don't know. Well, I'll have to, I'll have to figure it out. I'll have to figure it out. Um, I, I'd like to do selling selling slaves to the black market should be part of kind of a complete complete switch to a black market path. Um, it should allow you to get some black market you know benefits, but um, you should lose a lot of the benefits of being on the Commonwealth side. Lose access to to some stuff, even if it doesn't get you arrested. Um, you know. It should it should lose some access, and I don't I haven't quite figured out how to do that. But again, it it's all about choices. I just wanna wanna force the player to make interesting choices. You know, do I do I go down this path? You know, with what it entails. Like, wouldn't it be cool? What I'm thinking of, think of Breaking Bad. Wouldn't it be cool if if a black market path was kind of like the Breaking Bad storyline, where you know one act just forces another and another and another. Um, that kind of gets you deeper and deeper down the black market path. I think that might that might be interesting if I could pull it off. I, I just don't know if I could pull it off. Um, yeah, there it is. The 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 Druid ship, Druid ship, in Star Control too. You could sell the sell crew. That's right. Sell more than a hundred, and you get penalties. What do, what do you get in exchange? I think you just get money, right? 
Um, yeah, I don't remember. Uh, John B. Watson says, you can also sell the future of the Shofixti race into slavery. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember. Um, that is pretty cool. By the way, th talking about these games, and one of these days, it, it might be fun. I don't know if you guys will have to tell me where this is the appropriate forum, but um, it might be fun to play some other non chronos or production space games um, on this channel just to uh, kind of as research just to see you know what what how other people have solved similar problems to, to transcendence and how other people have have dealt with with some of um, you know some of these issues um, I mean if nothing else we might get some interesting ideas so I don't know if you guys are interesting that might be that might be another fun thing to do is is try out some other space games and, and I can I can play them um, I, there's there's a whole bunch that I'm that I'm I just have never had time to play that I would love to try. Um, there's a bunch of space games that I found. I've never I never played um, um, No Man's Sky, and I know that's completely different from Transcendence, and I know it might not even be that interesting, but um, that's one I, I I was curious about. Um, and then there's a whole bunch of sort of Transcendence. Um, um, I don't want to say copycats because I know they were not influenced by it, but um, but s games similar to Transcendence, um, the one I'm thinking was Void Expanse, I think, or Void something. I can't remember. Um, that sounds a lot like Transcendence. And then there's there's um, there's um, there's another one. Is it Death Race 2020 or Death something 2020? Um, done by a bunch of people that I that that you know have kind of contacted from from Germany um, we've exchanged a lot of emails back and forth about you know kind of talking about our, our particular games and I'm really excited about that game that is a pretty cool game so um, that's another game that I could I could try playing um, I'd love to see you get a hold of escape velocity yeah uh, that's another one I mean obviously that came that came first although believe it or not it uh, escape velocity actually came right around the time that transcendence 0 0.7 came out um, you know, so I, I I definitely was not influenced by it because I didn't know it existed, and certainly they were not um, influenced by it. So it really was kind of a, a parallel evolution. But yeah, Skate Velocity is absolutely a game that I would love to to play. Um, it's it's I think many people still consider it the you know the the granddaddy of of these kinds of games. Um, the 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 other one that I think is much more dated is probably. The original, the um, Privateer, um, and its sequels. Those are three D space games, but but Privateer, I think, was was super popular, um, and I think they're kind of trying to recreate that in Star Citizen. You know, that's going to be a cross between Privateer and the Wing Commander series. So, I don't know if if Star Citizen ever gets finished, I, I, that might be another fun one to play with. Okay. Um, Let's see. I will continue. Okay, so I was gonna do some Commonwealth missions. Let's let's do that. Let's do just kind of a vanilla game. Uh, shame EVO is Mac only though. I I didn't think it was. I I thought EVO. You might be thinking. Oh, EVO Overdrive or something. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Escape Velocity Nova is, I think, what I'm thinking of. Um, Escape Velocity Nova, I think, is is the latest version. I think that runs on PCs, but I might be wrong. Um, let's start a series for Urquan Masters, the HD remake. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't mind doing that. Although, I'll be honest, that, that game has a lot of grinding. I don't know that... I, I don't know that, that it's that fun to watch. Um, if I remember correctly, there's, there's, it's just a ton of collecting minerals down on planets, you know, visiting planet, find minerals, you know, uh, there's, there's a lot of grinding in that game. I don't know that it's that much fun. And then the combat, well, I'd be horrible at it. And I think it's fairly unforgiving. Once you lose, you lose. I don't think you can restart. Yeah, Nova is the third game. Override is the second. And you're right. So, so, Evie... 
uh, escape velocity override is is Mac only. But but Nova, I think Nova is the one that I'm thinking of. I think that's the one that um, is probably the most polished. I think I think it's the one that most people remember. But I don't know. I might be wrong. Again, you guys can you guys can correct me. Okay, I'm gonna um, I'm obviously not I'm gonna obviously gonna cheat to get to the to the first carrier. In fact, let's even figure out where the first carrier is. Um, I can't spell. Okay, so here are the carriers in this game. For some reason, and actually now I know why, um, the Terra is always either in A5 or GNS1. It's it's only those are the, those are it, the Terra only shows up on level nine systems, and I think those are the only two level nine systems other than Dantalian in the game, um, and it never shows up in Dantalian. I don't know why. I think that's a bug too. Okay, um, Sahara, if I remember correctly, is a medical ship, so I probably want uh, Etasetti, which is actually pretty early. So I can I'll I'll go the. I'll go to Atticetti for the, the Arctica, um, I think, right? Um, Iron Pirates, Pirates says, we can also try to make scale model ships in Space Engineers. I, I've never played with it, so that I think would be, that would also be fun. Um, okay, next question that I have is, what do you guys think... I need to be equipped with by uh, what's kind of a, a relatively normal equipment to to tackle some of those carrier missions. I remember with the with um, when I played with the Freyr, I definitely had a tracking weapon. So I guess I'm going to have. I guess I'm going to let's let's have a Nami missile launcher. Well, actually, I'm going to let you guys tell me what I should have. I, 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 I need, I probably need one, um, one base buster. I, I wouldn't mind an Omni weapon and I wouldn't mind a tracking missile weapon. Um, I think probably I should get a NAMI missile launcher and then a bunch of, you know, KM-50s or, I mean 500s or KM-550s. Um, and then maybe I should also get, um, Let's see. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be pretty far out. Um, well, let's start with with Omni Particle is probably too weak, but it might be good for just the little, the little mooks. Um, Rassier Messer with Gothas. That's what level is is. Um, What level is that? Um, that's level eight. Is that is that normal for people to have? I guess so. I mean, it's not super expensive. Yeah, it's not. I, I, I'm, uh, that's what I had with the Freyr, and that was pretty net, pretty like killer. So maybe that's good enough. Um, Let's see what else. How about some? Um, I think I had an Omni Tev Nine and a Mark V Howitzer last time I was that far. That's. I think that's a reasonable. Let's let's do it with that because I also don't want to. Um, I don't want to like. No, no, I don't want a turbo laser. I had an Omni Tev Nine. Okay, it's not picking it up. No, huh, that's interesting. I wonder why it doesn't like it. Oh, is it a Tev 9 turret? No. Um, what's it called? What's the, what's... What, what's the wish term? Um. Uh, 
It's not case sensitive, I don't think. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, you know what? It's probably space. That's it. That's what I screwed up. TV. Yeah, there we go. It, there's a space in there, and it doesn't like spaces. Okay, um, and then uh, Mark V Howitzer, which I also think is probably right. And then for uh, so so we're talking level eight or nine. So armor maybe maybe ortho steel. Um, uh, I'll probably end up buying all, a lot of this at a fleet. So let me let me go to um, what reactor do I need? I probably need. Um, one fifth, uh, maybe a two fifty. What are these? This one's a sixty megawatt, forty megawatts. So I'm, I'm at a hundred megawatts just for the for my weapons, and I probably need another hundred megawatts. So two fifty. Okay, I know that's probably not the. Not the best. Quadricarbide or hexacarbide? Okay, I think I'll end up... Um, let's go... Um, I also need a military ID. Let's go install some of this stuff. And let's give myself some money. I don't want to be too optimized. I, I kind of want to balance it so that it's possible at, you know, slightly kind of an, what an average loadout for people well, give me a self hundred thousand okay I probably should move forward to do this but um, no uh, all right I just I want weapons first let's get this guy oh oh I gotta go further up Okay, let's. I didn't want to go all the way out there because I'll die in a in a in this sapphire before I before I even get there. There's the Arctica. I don't even know if there's a place to. Well, let's go to Thor's. They might install stuff for me. Okay. Here's hexacarbide. Let's do that. Oh, but you know, it's got a penalty. Is that okay? I might be better off with... Oh, no, that's level 7. Ah, I'll, I'll take the penalty. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll buy myself a better drive. I mean, what's the point of... Nephron? 150 though, jeez. I don't think I can afford a 150 megawatt reactor. Let me install this. Oh! They won't let me. Oh, they won't even let me install. Use Orkin if you have corporate command. Oops! Ah, now I'm gonna die! Thank you. Use Orkin if I have corporate command. I do. But without Orkin, there's a huge gap of levels between NAMI and Rescue Missile Launcher for tracking missiles. Got it. Got it. Okay. Oh, I, I was wrong. This is this is a, also a medical ship. I get confused. Um. Let me re let me get these up there. Okay, I need the reactor first. Um. Now I can replace. And now I'm out of fuel, but that's okay. Fuel. I'm running out of money, but okay, so 
Um, someone said Orkin. Oops. Nope, that's not what I wanted. More money. More money. That's a level six. Okay, unfortunately, I have no tracking missiles. Okay, and now, um... Oh, and shield? Did I decide on shields? I guess I can go back, now that I've got a uh, reactor. Oops. Amazingly, the hour is almost over, which is sad but true. Um, what am I? Uh, this, this is. I think this is too powerful. This might be more my speed right now. Although even 100 megawatts is, I think, might be pushing it. I can, I'll upgrade if I'll, I can always upgrade later if I need it. Okay, and then um, nope, no repair. Oh, not even available. Oh man. Um, then let me do one more thing. Um, buy missiles. There we go. There we go. This is what I want. Hundred. Beautiful. I have a 55 and I have 250. Okay. Uh, let's f let's then. Okay, so I don't want to go to EC. I think I want to move forward towards A1. I think is another medical frigate. So I think A3 is the earliest one. Okay. A3. I'm gonna see if I can. I'm gonna try to do this level somewhat realistically without cheating. Cool. St this is just debris. There's nothing interesting. Maybe I can sell though. If I find somebody, some place to sell. Are these? This is. This is. I don't think this is. Yeah, I think this is just debris. I don't think this is, um... Or maybe. It might be somebody... Uh, a real fight that I've passed. Let me get this guy. Ah, I can't afford to carry anything anymore. Okay, well that's okay. Let's keep going. Nami has Lucifer, but if you don't have launcher when it's late enough, it might not help. Yeah. Agreed. Tarot nest. Not, that's not useful to me right now. Um, although I suppose I could sell stuff. Tycon. Manufacturing plant. Again, I want to. I'm looking for a place to sell stuff. There's not much. Once you get this far out, um, there's not much to sell. Bunch of freight, uh, freighters moving around. Ah, almond station. Ah, okay, it's corporate. This, this is good. Let's refuel because I am gonna run out of fuel, and let's uh, sell stuff because I, I am gonna need to sell. I, otherwise, I will run out of. I can sell that. I don't need that. Sell this lonely missile. 
Otherwise, I will run out of money. Okay, keep going. PM says that's a loot spawn, which I totally buy. Yeah, this is this is also loot spawn. That's from or not loot spawn, but this that's also a program spawn. Nice blaster. Here come some people. Oh, you know what? I need a. It's kind of hard to do things without a targeting ROM. At, and this. Whoa! Oh, these guys are way too. I wanna um, target this guy. Now, there we go. I want him to... There we go. I almost got him. Man, he's nasty. As you guys know, um, the cheat is really once once all these... Once the other sandstorms get killed, the tundra starts opening up with its micro nukes, um, which is pretty deadly for me, so that's why I avoided them. Well, that's why I killed it first. Okay. Let's keep looking. I gotta look for the carrier. Omnithor Lab. Okay, I'm not actually finding that. Maybe I will have to cheat, otherwise we'll run out of time. I guess we're technically out of time. Careful with the Sandstorm. Their speed is lackluster, but their damage is enough to kill even an overleveled ship. These look like... Ah, Farians. An exploit even the developer uses. Well, uh, it's an exploit that I think I learned from you guys. So there's that. Aries Outpost, which I'll try to avoid. Oh, 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 oh. These guys defend me? No, they don't. And I got some luminous? Oh my goodness. Do these guys get bored eventually? I'm probably too close to their station. I'm probably still within the don't enter range. Okay, let me see what I need to do. Let's try this guy. Nope, that's not working. Okay, how about I invoke? Because I'm not going to survive this. Um, and... Oh jeez, I'm not gonna. I, I have to hope that they run away. And these guys, I'm just gonna pelt with missiles. Nope. Ah, don't waste missiles. Ah, that guy is immune. Ah, and I cannot. There we go. Jeez. This is definitely harder than I thought. Okay, I gotta go back to Amon Station, which is way over on the other side. Okay, I might even have to, like, lower my shields right now. <laughs> I'm so low on fuel. Oh, I can probably refuel at these guys. I don't have to go all the way to Amon Station, do I? Yeah, there we go. Good. Okay. Phew. Of course, I don't have much money. And I still haven't found the carrier. I wish there were some... There's the Penitent Monastery. I wish there were some... Um, nope. Avoid. Some hints. You know how, like, the Antarctica sends out... Um, you know how the Antarctica sends out um, patrols. It would be cool if if other carriers did that too, because it would be, make it easier to find 
Question, what is the lore reason why Luminous isn't hostile to the enemy human factions? I think it is hostile, it's just, it's not always hostile. I, I may be wrong, but, um, I didn't think, I think it's hostile to most things, just not, um, not Terratons. I think Terratons are neutral, um, from a faction perspective, so, so, so Luminous is, is neutral to them too, um, But I'll also be honest, and um, I certainly did that, you know, alignment stuff before Eternity Port, so um, it may not. Oh man! You guys are using fusion fire or side mounted. That's not fair. Oops, sorry. Ended up on code. That's not fair. This uh, this is much less survivable than I expected. I'm like rapidly running out of money. And and also rapidly running out of fuel. Um, my power usage is just ridiculous, which means I really need to upgrade my reactor. But I don't think I can afford to. A Kashiba. Yeah, I cannot afford the cost. I need to, I need more money. Okay, this is not quite as easy as I thought. And I haven't even found the carrier. It would be cool if Luminous fought with all humans. Powerful than I remember. Um, it would be cool if Luminous fought with all humans. Oh, lightning, lightning cannon, micro nukes. At least I can sell that and make some profit. I'll, I'll go to Amon Station. Destructive order, so, um, uh, yeah, some, Zoom pseudonym says I should cheat the Koshiba, I probably should, um, I can barely afford, I probably, ah, uh, whatever. Will, will the Tartans take this? There's a Tartan nest. Wish a trading computer would tell me. Yeah, that's better. Okay. Um. How much is the Kashiba? Another hundred thousand. Okay, well. Okay, give myself another hundred thousand. And then I can sell this guy. Oh, sorry, that's me. Uh, let me buy some more of these, because I'm running out of these la these these missiles. Sure, two hundred, because I I'm just been spa spamming them like crazy. I like the old alignments. Uh oh, sorry. Someone's really trying to get a hold of me. I apologize.
Sorry, guys. There's always, there's always real life going on. Okay. Um, I really need to refuel. I don't have any money to refuel, though. And I've, and I still have not found my carrier. I guess I can check out. Let me check out this area of the nebula. I don't think I have. Okay, let's see. I'm in Killen. Wasn't it Edaceti? No, uh, Edaceti. Oh, am I am I wrong? Edaceti. I did find the carrier. Um, yeah, Edaceti. But it was the CS. It was the Arctica, which was a medical for, a medical carrier. So I'm in A3 now. I think. Yeah, I'm in A3, which should have the CSC India. So I think I'm, I'm I think I am right. I just don't know where where it is. It's probably high. It's, uh, it's oh now now who's now who's which means no running on map only. CSC is a ship. It won't show up without visual confirmation. Is that true? I didn't... I thought I fixed that. I'm not positive, but I thought I fixed that. Um, in any case, I should be... I should have been able to see some kind of a... Even if, I, even if it doesn't show up on the map, it should show up in LRS, and I don't think I've seen... It, it would be pretty obvious in LRS because it would have, you know, a huge um, contingent of oh luminous. It should have a huge contingent of um, um, sorry, thinking. Oh my goodness, these guys. Even a Mark V is not that great against these guys. I don't want to be in the nebula when I'm scanning. There's another nest. Contingent is useless against world ship. Oh, there's something. No, that's Tycon Venture, sorry. So you're saying maybe the world ship destroyed everything except the carrier. Um, may be true, but in that case there might be a debris field that I should like, I should find I'm burning fuel like exploring like this I'm really kind of just going randomly no wonder this game is so hard and these are Farians, I'm not going to find anything here I think I've, I think that's like the seventh time I've gone through that. Where else could it be? I, it, these other the other orbit, it generally isn't in that far out. So I, I hate to scan that orbit unless I have to. Um, unless I missed it around here, but I don't think I did. Sometimes I find stations by falling freighters coming from stargates. Yeah, I I don't. I would love to do that. I don't think the carrier. I don't think the carriers. And I, and again, this is something that I wish it did. Well, here's some. Here's a wreck field. Maybe this is the. Maybe this is a dead carrier. Well, that's it's something. Oh, it is a dead carrier. 
Well, so much for that. <laughs> oh, that sucks. And by the way, why is all this stuff here? This, shouldn't this be destroyed? Well, very sad. World ship eats Commonwealth fleets like popcorn, and that is absolutely obvious, obvious in retrospect. I don't have any Orkins, though. I can sell these, though. Huh. Too heavy. Alright, well, that's sad, but I guess now I have to go somewhere else. Well, you were right. Um... I'd love to do a, a simulation and see how often carriers are actually killed. It's much more often than I think I expected. So, um, which makes me, it says a lot of credits on that wreck, which makes me think that there's a bug because the, when a carrier gets destroyed, it's supposed to destroy most of its, most of its cargo. CSCs desperately need something with either thermal or ion for dealing with world ships. Yeah, it's, um, yeah. Um, ideally, if we want to be realistic, um, if, if we want to be realistic, it's the, you know, it's a carrier, right? So it shouldn't, it shouldn't have these massive weapons. It should, that's what the Centurions are for. So if anything, I think this is just saying the Centurions are too weak. And, and I don't know, I don't know if that just needs to have more, we need to have more more powerful Centurions. The major issue is that they aren't smart with Centurions. Yeah, exactly. No, I, I completely agree. I, I'm not even sure. Smart is one thing. Maybe we can fix that, although I don't think we can get a ton better. But I think in general, they're also not. They're just not very... Um, the Centurions are not powerful. Um, and then the other thing that I'd like to do is there's really no reason for a Xenophobe to challenge... Uh, um, a carrier well I don't know do I want to go down that road I don't know um, because I, I'm not sure I want the opposite also which is the carrier is so powerful that when the centurion gets close it just gets destroyed and now you get a field of you know xenophobe wrecks around the carrier that's not I think as fun either for the player so I think what I need to do is both beef up the the centurion squadrons so that you know they they can actually really do defend the carrier, and then simultaneously, um, I need to add intelligence to the xenophobe so that they don't just blindly, you know, destroy it, uh, destroy carriers, which they really shouldn't be. They should be too. They they should be afraid of carriers because even if they can kill them, they should get very damaged. The problem is Xenophos have every reason to challenge the CSC because the world ship is immune to all their weapons. Yeah, and, and, and I guess that's that's what I would say is I think I think we still would have to upgrade the the Centurions so that you know they can present a real challenge to, to world ships. And I think that I mean that's realistic. I mean you you would think that they would eventually develop the weapons to do that. Um, and then I think if we have an AI on the Xenophobes to basically say if they take a certain amount of damage they flee um, and they avoid the threat I think that would also be uh, pretty reasonable and I hope that that might take care of it and by the way um, the uh, guy and terraformers should have very similar AI so I think that's something that we'd have to do I th I'm, I'm sure there is already a um, ticket on that so I'm not I'm not gonna, not gonna go. oh sorry that's here Ah, if it's not one thing, it's another. 
Okay, sorry. Just dealing with Hilo. Uh, okay, uh, we're just about out of time. Um, let me try one more thing. A3A is the next system. Let's go there and... Um, where am I, by the way? Yeah, so I think the Lee system is where I want to be. Uh, let's go there and find the carrier. There's another carrier there. Centurions either need light ion blasters or NM900 launchers. Um, I I don't disagree. You know, and I think maybe maybe the other thing we could do. I gotta think about this. Um, I mean, maybe... Whoa, speaking of... Something's going on here. Oh, it's another world ship. Well, at least uh, the Territons can handle it. Territons have no problems. There's Point Juno, and there's a CSC America. Okay. Here we go. Basically, Centurions need to be armed like current Britannians. The problem is particle resistance immune en enemies are common in Outer Realm. Yeah, I, I, I don't disagree. Um, I think my, my, my thought is... Another, here's another thing I was thinking. Um, Ares already uses um, Ion. Why not have Centurions and even Britannias um, use Thermo? That might be an interesting contrast. Um, I mean, as part of this, I might... I, I was. I was thinking, if you remember last time we talked, I think a couple of episodes ago, when I was showing, when I was showing off the new Centurion um, models, I was talking about maybe equipping them with tr tritium cannons. But tritium cannons um, are a little bit high level. I, I wish we had a an intermediate, like a you know level seven thermo cannon that had a fairly rapid fire rate. I don't think we have that, um, so it might be we might invent. Uh, a weapon, a, a thermal weapon for Centurions, like the Centurion M. Centurion M maybe has those thermal weapons. I think that might be interesting. And then the Britannia can stay um, a more, more of a base buster with missiles. Um, it probably, you know, doesn't need a pod, but um, should have real, actual missile launcher. With with, um, so I don't know. Maybe we can do something like that. The other thing we could do. Is um, you know the Centurions are supposed to kind of be this this workhorse. Um, maybe there could be a variant of the Centurion that has the the NM9000 pods, 900 launchers. Um, that might also be cool. You probably need to rip off the Dwarf Behemoths or Dreaming Horde from an EP. Oh yeah, in in terms of a cannon, yeah, I, I think that's I think that's fair. What's going on here? Ah, carrier hitting its own ships. Okay, um, we got about ten minutes. Brits with trits. Oh God. <laughs> um, let let we got about ten minutes. So let's do let's do this. Good to see you. Got a mission. Freighter. Okay, this is this is part of the this is the Juan Carlos mission, if I remember correctly. I don't know if I should clear out the system before I do this. Probably, probably I should, but I'm not going to. Um, I also wonder if. Oh, right. Oh, jeez, these guys.
I don't want to kill uh, Juan Carlos, but ah, and two. I was, I was so close, so close. Hey, doesn't he have one last? Doesn't he have last words? When I, I don't know if he used to. I thought he had. I thought. I thought you got to see a death scene if if he got killed. I'll double check that. I might have gotten lost in translation. Um, and then, of course, it would be nice if here they acknowledged anything about Juan Carlos's death. Okay, let's go. Recon mission of an Ares commune. Okay. Man, they're they are just attacking like crazy. Sentries. Huh, mission complete. I didn't even get that close. But I'm not complaining. What if you had variant Britannias, some with Omni Tev 9s and some with fixed thermal weapons? Yeah. Yeah. I, I buy that. Poor Carlos died like a new player meeting the Ares for the first time. Um, he's probably way under leveled. I forgot what the. Um, here's another recon. I forgot what the... Um, is he sending me to the exact same station? Well, I guess that's okay. Um, um, I forgot what the exact loadout of Juan Carlos is, but I don't think it's very... Um, it's very good. Um, this mission could be a little bit harder. Like, I think using some of the... Uh, eternity port logic where you maybe where you have to stay within range of the station for a little bit of time might be interesting um, maybe maybe like later missions you get to you have to do that um, that's kind of what I'm thinking I'm just writing this down. Okay. It might be it might vary by how big your screen is. Yeah, the recon stuff I think is is right now based on when it paints on your screen, which I think is I should write that down because that's probably not scalable either. Um, it should be based on based on distance, on absolute distance. Um, otherwise, I think people with big screens have, have too much of an advantage. I mean, people with big screens have an advantage anyways, but... Oh, hey. Privateer. Okay. Ares Freighter. Okay. So this I have to destroy the Ares Freighter. Okay, so I'm going to flip to Mark V Howitzers and maybe missiles. Oh, this is this is the this is just a Polar One Freighter, which is not that hard. Whoops! I just hit a Farian, or somebody hit a Farian. I'm going to try to hit it. I was trying to hit it in the engines, but. There we go. Death cube, cool. And a bunch of teractium. Oh, that's awesome. That I can sell. 
I don't know where, but I can sell it. Not Tycon Ventures, though. They don't buy it. You could require deploying a scanning pod like the Heretic mission. Have to plant them within a certain distance of the station. They need not be destroyed before they can gather their data. That's a great idea. i got to write that down, too. Um, deploy scanning pods and defend. Um, I like that also because then, you know, it kind of teaches you how to do that before you get to Heretic. I mean, one of the things that is annoying about Heretic is, you, you know, a lot of the missions they you get to do, you've never done before, um, which is kind of annoying. So it would be nice if, if that were like that, that were better. Uh, I guess I, I guess I could just sell Rin here. Sell, get some Rin. There should be some sort of cleanup crew around CSCs. They get clusters of shipwrecks around them that block their shots. Yeah, um, that's another great... Um, that's a great um, point, too. Um, I just wrote it down. Stations have that already with their, their civilian ships will destroy wrecks, so it's not unreasonable to expect that CSCs would do that too. I mean, you know, the fleet is kind of precarious in terms of its resources, so it would want to loot as much as it could. I don't know what that was that just got killed, but... Okay, I'm gonna do one more, um, and then accept, accept I'm gonna decline because I want to repair and I want to refuel okay I'm just like crunching through okay that's good enough oops flight deck executive officer Aries convoy Amazingly, the uh, the complement of Centurions has stayed, has survived. So I think that that's probable because of the. This is another Polar One. It's probably I think the upgraded um, Centurion M's are a little bit hardier than the previous one. I think by now that complement of Centurions would normally be dead. And here comes the carrier. Don't hit me! Oh, somebody hit me. You'd think the uh, polar would avoid the carrier, but I guess not. There we go. Oh, nice. Some Orcan missiles. Armor repair kits. That's all good stuff. Trying to get in its firing solution. Hey, has anyone thought of the idea of having scuttle charges for wrecks? That sounds like a good idea. Fleet mission changes. Um, hi, NMS. Welcome. No, you know, I'm. Uh, there's a bunch of. I have a bunch of bugs on these missions, so I'm just testing out uh, just to see what the balance is. Um, but I actually, really, to be honest, I only spent the last ten minutes of this playing. In fact, and now probably it's time for for me to go. But um, let me just repair. Maybe I'll continue later. Um, because I do have to go. Um, all right, but um, oh, here we here we go again with something. It's always something. 
Yeah, see, notice how the carrier is actually is actually trying to avoid hitting its own ships. I think in some cases it just it just it just it just guesses wrong. And and even now it looks like the carrier has not lost a single centurion, which is again, I think unusual and doesn't usually happen. So I think the the upgraded centurions have have um, has kind of worked. But I, but still, I do think I'm going to try to might as well in this version upgrade them to to use a um, a thermo weapon and see if that helps a little bit. I think that might be an, an interesting interesting change. Um, and you know what? Um, at that point, I might then flip even the carrier. This this might be almost too big of a change, but I think it might still be okay. Um, I mean, think about it, right? This this um, it just might be a really nice uh, contrast with Ares. Ares uses a ton of energy weapons, you know, the ion cannons and the positron cannons. Maybe the fleet should use thermo weapons and make it make just feel different. I'm gonna try it. That might be that might be good. Um, okay. Um, I think it's probably time for me to go. Let me read some last minute comments. Um, You could give Britannia's particle reflect on their rear armor. <laughs> um, w the other thing I could do is add some kind of friendly fire, you know, checks. Um, but you know, I don't know. The usually the usually if if nothing's moving, if like if the ships were were not moving, the carrier would not hit anything. It's only the fact that ships move in the way of the shots. I think because I think that's how the algorithm works. That's when um, you get into trouble. I could widen the range of the exclusion zone, but but I don't know. I'll, I'll have to see. Okay, um, but that's it for me. It's it's certainly past my time. Um, but thanks again. Thanks for uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for um, participating in the show. This was mostly a question and answer show, so there certainly were a good number of questions. So I'm I'm really thankful for that. Um, I'm going to continue working on 1.8 Alpha uh, Beta 1. I should have that done either by f by this weekend or Monday, but um, but um, stay tuned. Stay tuned for that. Um, oh, Multiverse 2 was down earlier. Correct. Yeah. Um, this is just a um, minor infrastructure thing. I I temporarily transferred the servers up to AWS just to test it out um, and also because we we're having some power problems they were you know I don't know rebuilding power lines who knows what they were doing but um, I temporarily transferred the server for the last week it's been on AWS and um, it worked I thought it worked pretty well I mean it was it was there's cases where it was a little bit slower but the bandwidth was much much higher so some things I think felt faster even though other things I think felt slower uh, so um, because of that, there's a bunch of DNS issues. So yeah, Multiverse 2, which is which generally points directly to to um, you know um, my servers, was down. Now it should be back. Uh, but um, but Multiverse should have been up. So I don't know. Hopefully that still worked. But everything should be everything should be back now. Okay, well, thank you very much again. Thanks for everything, and uh, I will see you all uh, in a week. All right, bye-bye.